Hello, my name is Kevin Constant and this is Bob Hurd. We uh, would like to show you our new 2003 Chevrolet Silverado that we have converted to AC power. We are using the new Baldor AC motor that uh, our company Topeka Electric and Baldor. We put this uh, design together. It is behind the 4L60E transmission and uh, it runs off of 72 volt three phase. We'd like to show you our truck. Thank you. Here's uh, under the hood of our new truck. This here is our Curtis controller. It's a 1238R-7601. It's good for up to 96 volt. This over here is our gas vacuum pump, 12 volt. That's for our power brakes. And as you can see by the design, we still have power steering, alternator for the 12 volt system, and an air conditioning unit. They're all still intact. This new design, we are able to have an idle mode through a creep setting that is internal in the controller. The RPM of the motor is 400 RPM, which is enough to keep the power steering, transmission converter, all those hydraulic pumps pumped up to where they're fully functional. Is our heating system. And that heating system uh, just runs the antifreeze through the container into the heat heater core like, like it did originally. This is our uh, battery compartments. There's 16 cells in each compartment for a total of 64 batteries. They're in a 2P32S hookup, which gives us uh, the 72 volt that we need or 102 that at nominal voltage. All the boxes have been powder coated and they have a piece of plexiglass on the front to keep debris off the front edge of the batteries. And as a result of having all the batteries located underneath the vehicle, we still have the full bed totally empty for hauling or whatever you choose to use it for. This here is the OptiShift controller by Bauman. It is what controls the automatic transmission. The transmission is still fully functional with the motor since it will idle at the 400 RPM. It maintains the torque converter pressure so the transmission functions properly like it's supposed to. That's what controls all your up down shifts, your line pressures, your torque converter pressures and uh, that, that covers all oh, and it, it's based off of RPM as well as throttle positioning. This down here is actually from the Wicom battery management system that we use. It measures volts, the amps, the state of charge meter which shows how much we have charged similar to a gas gauge. We can go through Go into the configure mode and read. It shows that we have 402 amp hours of battery capacity and we have 399 amp hours left of usage. This is where you go in and you can change all your overcharge, your under voltage, your over discharge voltage, your temperature settings and all of that for the protection of the batteries and the other components. Okay, we'll go back to home here. And this is just a little AC meter we put in to monitor AC three-phase voltage off of the controller. So, the, the motor is still run, idling, if you, that. Push down on the brake, just like normal, put it in reverse. Pull it down into drive, and away we go. And as you notice, here we are, we're pulling up to a stoplight. We've got to wait on the traffic. Here we are, just like any normal vehicle with an automatic. We just dropped into two, just went into one. And now we're sitting here at an idle. And you have to apply just a little bit of brake because it will move forward just like any vehicle does. And it sets and idles. And right now, sitting here idling, it's average anywhere from 14 to 15 amps usage here at idle. OK, 
Okay, here we are. We're heading up to I-70 West, out onto the highway. on that cargo truck. Here we are, we're running 60 mile an hour right now in third gear. Let's see. What's that amperage right there, Stan? I can't see it either. What's that right there? 303. Okay. We're actually using 303 amps to maintain 60 mile an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it into fourth. We're into fourth gear, the overdrive's going. We're actually accelerating. Well, it sure is windy today. Now we just drop back down into third gear again. There's no problem maintaining 65 mile an hour. Gauge, and we'll go back to the shop because I want to show you the uh, charging system and the BMS system that's located under the rear seat. Well, we're back at Topeka Electric Motor, and that little trip was about seven and a half to eight miles. I just uh, checked our amp hours, and we used 36 and a half amp hours for that seven to eight mile little jaunt we made. And about three miles of that was at 60-65. So since we're back, we're going to show you the battery boxes, the charging unit, not the battery box, excuse me, the charging unit, and the CPMs. Plug it in and we'll be charged fresh and ready to go. Here's our charging system as well as the BMS. The charger is the far unit to the other side of the truck. It is a TC charger and it's rated for 96 volt with a peak of 130. The silver box is the, C CP, the CCM, central control module, which the four black ones here are the DCMs. And they retrieve the data, send it to the CCM, then the CCM converts it, moves it up to our panel up front where we was getting all of our readings.